welcome to career in pharma and welcome to part 2 of our free pharmaco vigilance course now in today's free pharmaco vigilance course part 2 i am going to discuss what is adverse drug reaction what is adverse event and difference between adverse drug event and adverse drug reaction number 3 what is serious adverse event and different criteria to classify any event as a serious adverse event number 4 what is sewsar in pharmacovigilance and number 5 what are different terms used in pharmacovigilance and also uh, important interview questions so although all questions are important interview questions but yes uh, i'm going to explain each and everything in this video so let's understand what is adverse drug reaction so as per who any reaction to any drug which is unintended and noxious and which occurs at a dose which is used for prophylaxis or therapy or diagnosis yes or any dose which is used to modify the physiological function so any reaction occurring because of this is a adverse drug reaction now let's understand what is adverse event now again adverse event is also a untoward medical occurrence that may present during treatment of a drug and very important which may or may not because of the drug in question yes so uh, this brings the difference between the adverse drug reaction and adverse event is which is adverse drug reaction is always because of the drug which we are giving to the patient for any uh, you know use for treatment for prophylaxis for diagnosis for alteration of physiological function but adverse event may or may not associated with the drug that we need to find out after the causality assessment so this is the difference between adverse drug reaction and adverse event now other question is what is serious adverse event that we call it as sae so any adverse event which is happening after taking the drug is serious is known as serious adverse event and to classify any adverse event as a serious adverse event there are five criteria as per us fda now what are this criteria if any drug leads to death then it is a serious adverse event that is the first criteria second criteria if any adverse event leads to any uh, condition uh, or anything which is a life threatening in nature so any life threatening condition after taking the drug which can place the patient at risk of death is a serious adverse event so second criteria is a life threatening condition now third is third criteria is any adverse event which may lead to hospitalization so because of uh, any adverse event after taking uh, the drug if any adverse event is happening and because of which uh, we need to admit the patient to hospital then again it will be a serious adverse event criteria uh, category uh, number 4 is if any adverse event happening is a persistent or significant disability so for example or it may be any birth defect so maybe you know if after taking any medicine uh, if there is some teratogenic effect then it will come under the category of serious adverse event okay for example after thalidomide there were lump defect limb defects so that is a serious adverse event and in disability you can uh, say you know after taking any drug if the patient is having a stroke so a stroke will go to the life threatening condition but after having a stroke if there is paralysis also that is a significant disability so number fourth criteria is significant disability or birth defect and number fifth and the last criteria is if any adverse event which requires medical intervention to prevent any one from the above four criteria means if we you are giving any medical treatment to the patient so that patient can be uh, prevented from dying so that patient can be prevented from any life threatening condition so that a uh, patient can be you know prevented from any significant disability or so that uh, you know uh, patient can be prevented from hospitalization so if we are giving any kind of medical intervention like that which is Uh, preventing the patient from above four criteria then also it is it will fall in the category of serious adverse event so these are the five criteria to classify any adverse event as a serious adverse event that is sae 
Now the next question is what is CUSAR? So the full form of CUSAR is again very important interview question. Full form of CUSAR is suspected, unexpected, adverse event reaction. Yeah, suspected, unexpected, serious adverse reaction. CUSAR. So any serious adverse reaction. So CUSAR are always serious. Any serious adverse reaction which are suspected and unexpected also. As per reference safety information, those are SUSA. Now, for more clarity on RSI or you know further clarity on suspected and unexpected, you can watch our other videos. There is always a there is already a video in our channel on reference safety information. Yes. Now the last question could be there are few terminologies used inside pharmacovigilance, which is again an important interview question. So among these terminologies, first one is medication error. So what is medication error? Medication error is a error which is happening unintentionally by mistake. It's happening. So it can happen during you know prescribing the medicine, during transcribing, during dispensing, or maybe miswriting. Uh, so mostly uh, medication error are always unintentional no one is doing it intentionally and it can happen uh, you know at doctor's end or nurse's end okay or the caregiver at hospital yes other terminology is drug misuse now drug misuse is always an intentional use intentional use by the patient and that use is not in accordance with the prescriber information on the reference safety information and this kind of misuse is also not justifiable and it is an inappropriate use of any drug for example we all know that fentanyl patch is used as a patch you have to paste it in your skin so it is we have to use it as a patch but uh, it has been seen that uh, patients using this patch what they are use, doing they are removing all the content from the patch they are scraping it and then they are uh, the scrape material which they get from the patch they are putting it into injection so that is the misuse now other is drug abuse now drug abuse means if the patient is misusing any drug and that they have become habitual uh, to that drug also and they are using the drug habitually to alter their mood or emotions or state of consciousness then it is called as drug abuse yes so for example if the doctor has prescribed only one duragesic patch but the patient is using three duragesic patch in place of one just because it give it uh, you know improving his or her mood it uh, you know uh, the patient condition not exactly condition but patient mood is getting better and uh, patient is habitually using this uh, in a uh, in a manner which is not prescribed by the doctor so that is the drug abuse that is the habitual uh, misuse you can say now other is drug dependence now drug dependence is the next level of drug abuse where the patient you know becomes so compulsive and there is a chronic need of any medicine and you you can say it is an addiction so drug dependence is an addiction where uh, now patient is so much uh, you know in requirement of the drug that the patient can't uh, spend a single day without the use of the drug so that is the drug dependence so this is all about free pharmacovigilance course part 2 where we discuss what is adverse event adverse drug reaction difference between these two what is serious adverse event with different criteria to classify any event as a serious adverse event and then what is CUSAR and last is different terminologies used in pharmacovigilance. So I hope this video will help you in clearing interview and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to hit a like button if this really is, video is really helpful for you and also please don't forget to share this video with your friends who are uh, going to give interview in coming future. So that's all for part 2. We'll be coming soon with part 3. And till the time I come again. Till that time please stay safe, aware, healthy and updated. That's all for today's video.